Hey guys, what's up? It's Austin. I'm back. And I'm going to be continuing Pikmin 2 today. We're going to be going right back to the Valley of Repose. And hopefully tackle our very first dungeon. Cave. Thing. Yeah. I don't know what they're called. Caves, yeah, that's what they're called. And again, we start this off very good like. Good like? My grammar is just on par today. <clears throat> again, with the ship not shutting up. Telling us how to get Pikmin out of the onion. Don't go into the light all more. You wouldn't want that. Just some more pellet posies. While these guys take this you take these pellets back and that one's not ready. While they take these pellets back, I'm going to continue trudging on getting even more pellets. Uh let's see hang on. Oh. There, you can have some help. Because I'm feeling nice. <clears throat> I don't know why. I just don't like Louie. Every time I play this game, I, I always play as Olimar. E even, even whenever I, the captains need to be split up in certain areas, I just don't like playing as Louie. He's. I don't think he's I as iconic as Olimar. I, I really don't. But because this is just more picking and more harvesting, I'm gonna cut ahead. And we're back! And our Pikmin count has risen to a grand 36. I don't know if you can call that grand, but we're going to take down this bag. The evil bag that stands on our way. And we see another dwarf full board. Not a challenge at all. Just throw it right on top and. I missed, but it's all good. Now we got a bigger bulb orb. Used to be called the spotty bulb orb, now it's just called the red bulb orb. Two ways you can take this guy down. You can do what I like doing, just throw him on there. Or you can bum rush him, as people call it. Because I love throwing. Take him down like that. Much easier. We can take him back to harvest, but instead we're going to take it back this pile of junk. <clears throat> and because we can, another pellet. No, the pellet, you retard. Not the freaking bulbo, thank you. Cutting ahead again. And we have brought back the worst possible treasure, the crushed can. Appropriately named, might I add. Where? How did they get behind me? They were just in front of me ten seconds ago. Oh well, I'm gonna question it. I'm not gonna carry these bodies back. 38 is a pretty decent number to continue on. <clears throat> and we have an obstacle. This is a wall, obviously. The pigmen can take down these walls. And because this takes quite a while, because they're only leaves, and I don't have that many of them, again, I'm going to cut ahead. Okay, and I'm back, and they should be just about done finishing Terry and Elmas. Well, there we go. Oh my god, we need a cutscene because they tore down a wall. Uh, this ship really needs the hush. I really don't like this thing. Worst character ever. Ugh. Sorry if I sound a little tired and kind of boring right now, but it's like 1 in the morning right now. And we are running across our first cave. Mm. Interesting. Yes. It's a hole that warm air is coming out of. I don't know how, but I'm not going to question it. And this is called the Emergence Cave. Hopefully we don't run into any locusts down here. For those of you who don't get that joke, get an Xbox. Yes, the almighty saving screen, which I will probably be, keep, probably be cutting because 
You don't need me to. You don't need to see me save every time I progress to a new floor. And the ship's gonna talk more, taking up even more of my precious video time. Okay, yes, you are just a ship. Now stay just a ship and stop talking. Anyway, I'm gonna run into a new enemy. Very, very uh, windy enemy. Just white, white dwarf bulldozer. Is that called Snow Yeah. Okay. Very simple. Doesn't take a lot of skill to actually kill these guys. Um, I shouldn't be saying that considering on uh, one of my runs through this uh, game beforehand. I actually lost one Pikmin to these little guys and I was quite ashamed because they're very simple enemies. Losing one... Uh, not, yeah, I'm just gonna hush. Anyway, even more proof that this game wasn't sponsored at all. Nah. I, I think we need to call copyright infringement on this one. <clears throat> A big orange. It's actually looking pretty good right now. So when you call it that, I, I really don't want it. I, I don't want to eat a lump. Anyway, when you hear that little sound effect, that means there's no more treasures on the floor and you can progress. Despite popular belief, your Pikmin do not have to be with you when you progress. And again, a cutscene for the exact same hole we saw above us. Yes. It's... Oh my... It's a hole! How is it that intriguing? Are there no holes on Hokutate? God. Anyway. Yes, we're going to delve deeper. <clears throat> Final floor! Epicness! Must be a boss fight. Nah, or really. no boss fights, sadly. Wish we had a boss fight. And we run to the first very important treasure in the game. I believe this one is called the Spherical Atlas, I think. Yeah. I think it's called the Spherical Atlas. Anyway, I fear that not even 100 Red Pikmin can carry it. And our ship is actually right. It requires 101 Pikmin. Pikmin players will know you can only have 100 Pikmin on the field at once. So even if we had 100, it wouldn't work. And why can I not play this guy? Thank you. So we're going to go deeper. Inception. Kill more freaking billboards that get in our way. They're stupid enough to get in our way. Dead. Ooh. I didn't even try to hit that guy. <clears throat> now we run into some candy pop buds. Again, players of Pikmin 1 will recognize these things, but these aren't blue paint candy pop buds. If you remember what I said in the first episode, uh, I said that I do not want to be using the Pikmin that are going to be spewing from this flower, but I kind of have to in this part because this is a required area. But these are... Um, Violet candy pop buds, and they spawn the game breaking purple Pikmin. Yeah, very heavy, very powerful Pikmin. Makes the already, in my opinion, weak enemies even easier to defeat. They are new to this series, and um, Nintendo kind of went overboard with the power of the purple Pikmin. But their ability to stun enemies pretty much almost every time you throw one, uh, they're very. It's very easy to kill even bosses with them. So you just check this out. That does a lot of damage, and that's just a landing. But they're good for carrying heavier treasures, such as the treasure I'm about to pick up, because these, these guys are worth 10 Pikmin each when it comes to picking up items, as you can see. If they'll catch up. They're also very slow. See? Ten Pikmin each. And they also slow down the group immensely. So, yeah. God, it's eating the Bulborb. Whoa. And finally, after about ten minutes of waiting, 
The treasure has finally been delivered, and it gets a nice shiny background. And I was right, the spherical atlas. Anyway, you will see this light behind important treasures. Uh, this particular treasure gives us the um, gives us access to the next level. <clears throat> now, yeah, eh. And there's no more treasures on the level. I'm gonna dismiss the Pikmin. And I'm gonna continue ahead by myself because I'm not gonna wait for those fat asses. Seriously, purple Pikmin, even when they're flowered, move really freaking slow. What the What? Why you do? I, I no command you to carry back a freaking body. What is this blasphemy? Yeah. So I guess I, I guess it's good to mention you can carry back bodies for treasure even though it's not worth anything at all. And here we have a geyser. This is how we get back to the surface. Uh, geysers won't always be yes astounding ship I know astounding that it's it shoots water. Anyway, geysers will not always be on the final well they'll always be on the final floor but sometimes they'll be in floors above the final floor. Uh, usually in very hard caves. Uh, geysers will be seen on lower floors in case you happen to lose too many Pikmin or you're just too much of a pussy to continue. See, look at that. One little bulb orb was only worth two Pokos. There's really no point in getting enemies. Even bosses are, aren't worth anything. I think, like, an Emperor Bulbalax is still only worth 15 Pokos. So, it's not worth it. And we fall back down, taking no fall damage, as it does not exist in this game. And again, with the ship spewing shit. I, I, I wish... I, I want to take away this ship's AI. I, I want to dismantle this ship and make sure it never speaks again. Okay. Cutscene, then another cutscene. Necessary? I think not. Anyway, this is the final day that they force you to sunset. All other days will end as you please. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna blast off into the night sky. Again, with today's report. Let's see, what happened today? We collected. Four treasures, and a body. Pretty decent, I guess. Our Pikmin numbers one up. Only got purple Pikmin. No deaths. Pretty good. What does our fat bastard have to say now? Baby steps. I don't want to take baby steps. I'm a man. I take man steps. Fuck your shit. What's this? New music? No, new level. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. We're going to be going to the Awakening Wood, and I'm not going to even make that joke, because it's been done a lot. I wonder if that was intentional on Nintendo's part, I really hope not. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.